Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go and be showing you how to change the h1 tag in your Shopify store This is a very simple thing to do So make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end follow my steps correctly So you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself But yeah guys, let's get straight into it So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official Shopify website right here Shopify.com if you're not already and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here where in the upper right corner you can get started with logging into your shopify account so after logging in successfully you'll be greeted by this home page right here where on the left side of the screen you can find all the sections you can access such as home orders products and so on so let's go ahead and see how to get started with changing our h1 tags in shopify what we are looking for guys is right here at the left side of the screen under sales channels we want to open the online store every clicking the online stores this is going to automatically going to open up this themes section where we can take a look at the theme we are using and at the right side of the theme we have the customized option so we are going to be using customize click on the customize button that's going to open up this editor right here that can now go ahead and enable us to edit and look how our customize how our store looks so as you can see at the last side screen we have the header template and footer and guys our h1 is going to be our header so if you want to go ahead and change your header tags all the options you need are right here at the left side screen so you can see here we have our header basically guys in the header you can either get started with changing your tags right here at the right side of the screen as you can see you can go ahead and manage your team settings and add your custom css so you can go ahead and add your tags in the custom css option right here as you can see here is our h2 and h1 that you can get started with managing how it looks so this is where you can get started if you want even more blocks to add to add more custom code you can click the add block option right here that's going to enable you to add and create a new block that you can then use and add code to so go ahead and click the add block option as you can see i have already created a custom liquid option block right here that you can then add it and once you're satisfied click the save option in the upper right corner and go back and this is automatically going to apply the changes to your store but yeah guys basically that is how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys, thank you for watching take care and bye